Music is very mathematical. It's very creative, but it all is very integrated. And it's amazing how once you figure out the puzzle, things start to work more fluidly and it's not quite as hard to understand. So I want to give you three like simple insights into the guitar neck, okay? Two of these strings are the same note, they're just different in pitch, meaning one's lower and one's higher. And so this low string is an E, okay? This high string is an E. So what does that mean? It means that if these two are E's, then these two are F's, and then an F sharp, and the G, and the A flat, and the A, and so on and so forth, they mirror one another, okay? So if you're gonna do this, it's gonna be the same up here. It's just higher. The other thing is, this part of the neck mirrors this part of the neck. This is an E. Well, up here to the 12th fret, which is an octave up, and what do I, what do I mean by an octave? 13 notes apart, 12 half steps apart. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So they're 13 notes apart, that's 12 half steps apart. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if this is an E, and now we know that this is an E, well, this is an A, that's an A, D, D, G, G, B, B, E, E. And if this is an E, then this must be an F mirroring this right here. So if you play an F chord right here, then this, okay, B flat, C, and then back to the F. So once you start developing cool like licks down here, you can take it up here. It would be great if you could find the octaves on your guitar neck. So if this is an E, well then up here is an E, and then right here is an E, and this is an E, and this is an E, Okay? If you can find all those, okay, so then if you do a lick, it's a huge puzzle. I did the same three notes, they're just in different places because I'm familiar with the neck. Once you start putting those pieces together, things become way more clear and you start to accelerate your understanding of music and what you can do on the guitar neck.